You want to unlock the new character Gaiu Runton, but life has been too hard and you're not blessed with a character that has a ton of golden eggs to just easily do it. But what you need to do is you have to stay on one max weapon. You can use golden eggs if you have them and you have to finish the boss rush stage. I recommend playing on hurry mode since you honestly won't need it. The reason is you'll do this with game killer. There we go. Ambro Joe gains a bonus of 10 amount on level 1. This decreases per level up. I think it's 2 per level up, but we will never level up. We just do this and walk around. And there we go. The first enemy is dead. Now there are these triggers on the floor. I honestly don't know if I have them because I already finished the stage or if you will also have them. If you also have them, then just use the time skip. You honestly don't need to kill the bosses. You can if you want to, but do you see what I'm doing? I'm just running around. We'll get a triple chest over here because of the game killer arcana. You always get triple chests. In fact, this will be the last one that I pick up. There's another skip. There we go. The reason why I will wait now is at 5 minutes, there is a boss that spawns that drops the arcana. And that one will give us two level ups. Now, if you do the math, with plus three, if I pick it up right now, then I would waste one level up. If you struggle, sure, go for it, do it, but I personally have no issue. And there we have the next skip. This werewolf is a big boy. He is kind of hard to defeat, but I think it shouldn't be too big of a problem as long as you just run in circles. You can also break the... I think those are Ken Lapras? No, those are braziers, right? Yeah, you can just break them and get the items out of them. But as we hit 30 seconds again, there we go, the next skip. And now I just need to wait for one more skip. I have to make sure that I actually get the right chest at minute 5. There are two chests and I think the skull is the wrong one. Yeah, this one is the wrong one. I need the other one. Just have to see. Is the skull already... The skull is already dead. Okay, I didn't quite see what's happened there. Is it maybe this one? <gasps> oh my god, I was lucky. Okay, you better keep track of this. You can just take a screenshot of wherever the chests were and keep an eye on the other boss or just an eye on the skull. And then you know the other chest that appeared is the arcana. So what we are looking for is Mad Groove. It will teleport everything in, as you can see. And this will make us insanely big. Okay, just still gotta be a little bit careful here. Ooh. I will take the armor, just in case something goes wrong. We will take the duplicate. We don't need that here. There we go. We will take the empty tome. Uh, okay, that is... Um, how do I do this now? We will also take Tiragizu. There we go. And at this point, I would just recommend picking up all the chests. You don't really need more of the items that are on the floor. You can definitely pick up more if you want to. One that I would kind of recommend is, for example... Ooh, careful. One that I would personally recommend is the Hollow Heart. Like, as I said, if you want, you can just pick up as many as you want to. But they are semi-wasted. Spinach is also one that will help you. Let me get... Um, Bracer is also good. Don't take too many, otherwise you won't have enough chests to max them out. But Spinach is good. Hollow Heart is good, since we will take the Awake Arcana next. And I will just use this to level up everything. But yes, the next arcana will be the Awake Arcana, where every single time that you die, you will gain bonus armor, but also bonus health. And since you revive with half of your HP, you want to have the Hollow Heart already going. Now, it's fine if it's not maxed out, since all of these are really good. And as you can see, I need exactly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 more level ups. We should get another chest here. I'm pretty sure the, yeah, the bull is the other one. There we go. And that means with two more chests, as you can see, this exactly fits with the build that I recommended to you. And taking the skip, there we go. There's the next chest. Make sure that you recover your health if you lost some. Whenever you level up Hollow Heart, you don't get full health. All it does is giving you empty health. And there we go, the next skip. And there's the final chest that I want to have at least right now. There you go. The weapon is maxed out. That was quite unlucky that I got everything but the weapon. At this point, you can decide what you want to go for. I don't recommend taking the rings, even if they sound good. They are not good for you. One that is generally speaking good is crown. This will increase the damage that you deal. There we go. And the final one that I'll pick up is attract orb. It just helps overall. 
There's the boss. And now I will just spam him with whatever I have. We still have the arcane now. We want to pick that up, as I said. Now you have two options. You can either go for awake or... And this is more powerful, but a little bit more risky. You reroll until you get Silent Old Sanctuary. There we go. The increase is insane, and it may take you too long to kill him, and he might eventually kill you. Now, with a wake, you will become enormously tanky. There shouldn't be a lot of issues. So, if you want to make sure that you won't end up dying, then I recommend just going for a wake. But this one here is just way, way stronger overall. And still, it's just running around. As you can see, the first boss is already slain. That was the Orange Reaper. Now, the Drowner is dead. Keep in mind, I accidentally have Curse right now. So, they have 50% more HP than they would usually have. In your case, it will be a lot easier. And now, we are missing exactly 6 level ups. So, I will just take this one. And as the final chest, this one. At this point, I honestly don't remember how many chests are left. There are only two things here that you want to have. I will get rid of the Stone Mask, I will get rid of the Clover, I will get rid of the Scholomaniac, and I will get rid of the Spellbinder. Now you can choose if you want to go for the arrow pointing towards the right. This is bonus HP. Or you can go for the ring that gives you bonus area, which is always nice to protect you. I will go for the area, but be aware that this guardian is really difficult to deal with and usually you don't want to sleep as long as I did since he's quite tanky. Let me just quickly get a triple chest, there we go. And now I keep running away. After the minute 12 there is a very very easy wave as you can see. They are not very threatening. But if you do this, then please do it at the start of 12 minutes, so you have all the red gems that you can shoot into the Guardian. There's the final wave, this is a very difficult one, but do you notice something? Yep, not very hard. That's why I said that Awake is more safe, but here's the reason why you can just go for this Arcana as well, like both work. The enemies are so weak since you're at level 1, that they can't do anything against you, the only way the developer could fix this is by giving them a set health, but I don't think he'll do that. And since we only have to survive for 30 seconds, the time is doubled. That was it. And now enjoy your newly obtained Gyoruntan.